Here we're going to tie Tox Crystal Coronamid. First thing we're going to do is just start our thread up by the thorax. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in a piece of clear midge tubing. And we're just going to tie this in right on that thorax. We're going to take it all the way back to where we tied in our thread. We only want our thorax to be about 25% oh, of the, the shank of the hook. Once I've got that tied in, I'm just going to take that midge tubing and I'm going to stretch it and wrap it down the shank of the hook. And as I get towards the bend, I'll really stretch hard. Then I'm going to wrap up over it and wrap back forward. Until I get to that thorax area again. Then I'm going to capture the, the midge tubing. I'm going to take my thread forward. I'm just going to build up a little bit of a, a thorax body here. Once I've done that, we're ready for the, the back casing, which is going to be some blue holographic flashaboo or tinsel, either way. I'm going to use a couple of strands for the top casing. And then for the, the side markers here, we're going to use a single strip of red holographic flashaboo. I'm going to put a strip of this on each side. You can also use the red holographic tinsel for this as well. There we go. And once we've got those tied in, I'm just going to build up that thorax here, just kind of clean it up, get rid of any lumps or bumps that may have developed when I tied in that tinsel. Then I'm going to take my thread all the way to the eye. I'm going to pull over the, the top casing first, lash it down. two wraps and I'll do the same for each of the side pieces here then I can trim out all those pieces of flashaboo See one of the pieces I left a little bit of a tag end here. Try to prop it up so I can get under it with my thread. There we go. Now the last thing to do is to add the the gills. I'm just going to use some white antron. And I'm just going to kind of X-wrap these in right up by the, the head. Once I've done that, I can whip finish. Then we're ready to coat the, the fly here. And to, use, to coat the fly, you can either use uh, UV not sense or fly finish, UV fly, loon UV fly finish or not sense, uh, or you can use clear goo, uh, tack free, uh, hydro, or just the plain tack free. Either one will work just fine. And all I'm going to do is just take the material here and 
add it to the top of the fly. And then I'm going to use my bodkin. And all I'm going to do is just spread it to the underside of the fly all around the thorax. And I left that antron long so it doesn't uh, get in my way. Just make sure to get the entire fly, both the top and the bottom here. Bodkin or a needle comes in very handy for this. Once I've got it completely coated, I can take my UV curing light here and just zap the entire fly. Then I can trim the, the gills. I'm just going to pull them up and I'm going to trim them fairly short, only about a sixteenth of an inch or so. Just enough to add a little bit of white to that front of that fly. And that's all there is to the Tax Crystal Coronamid, very effective still water lake fly. You can get all the materials for this fly at in the riffle.com.